Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from areas related to circles chapter, which had appeared in CBSE board exam 2025. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first and the second sub questions are for one mark, and the third sub question is for two marks, and it has an OR question as well. That is, either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So, let us start with the first question now. A brooch is a decorative piece often worn on clothing like jackets, blouses or dresses to add elegance. Made from precious metals and decorated with gemstones, brooches come in many shapes and designs. One such brooch is made with silver wire in the form of a circle with diameter 35 mm. The wire is also used in making 5 diameters which divide the circle into 10 equal sectors as shown in the figure. Based on the above given information, answer the following questions. The first sub question is, find the central angle of each sector. So here let us try to understand the question first. We have been given some designs of brooches. Now brooch is a decorative item which is used on clothing like dresses, shirts, jackets etc. to improve its elegance. So one of the brooches is being shown over here and it is in the shape of a circle. Now here it is given that one such brooch with silver wire in the form of a circle has a diameter of 35 millimeters. So here we can see that this is one of the diameters of the circle and the length of this diameter is 35 millimeters. And likewise, we are going to use four more diameters over here. As we can see, this is the first diameter. This is second. This is third. This is fourth and this is fifth. So we have used five diameters over here in such a way that these will divide the entire circle into 10 equal sectors. So the sector is in the shape of a pizza piece. So we can see these are the sectors or these are the 10 equal sectors formed. Now we have to find out what is the central angle of each sector. So central angle is this for this sector or this for this sector and so on. And the central angle for all these sectors will be same because the diameters have cut the circle into equal sectors. Now if we consider the center of the circle, the entire angle made at the center of the circle is 360 degrees and this 360 degrees is divided by 10 equal parts. So here we have written central angle of each sector is going to be the entire 360 degrees divided by 10 equal parts. So 360 over 10 is going to give us 36 degrees. So this is the central angle of all of these sectors individually. This is our answer. Find the length of the arc ACB. Since here we need to find out the length of the arc ACB for the sector, we are going to make use of length of an arc formula, which is theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi times r. Now theta represents the central angle of the sector and r represents the radius. Now theta we had got the value as 36 degrees of each sector in the previous part of this question and radius is going to be half of the diameter. The diameter was given as 35 millimeters. So the radius is going to be half of the diameter that is 35 over 2. So in the next step we have substituted the respective values giving us 36 over 360 times 2 pi r. So in the next step we have taken the value of pi as 22 over 7 and r as 35 over 2. Now let us simplify this. So here 36 divides 360 that is 36 1 times is 36 and 36 10 times is 360 giving us 1 over 10. Now here 2 divides itself that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 1 times is 2 and 7 divides 35 that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 5 times is 35. So this is going to give us 1 over 10 times 22 times 5. Now here 5 divides 10, so 5 1 times is 5 and 5 2 times is 10 and 2 divides 22, that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 11 times is 22. So here the length of the arc of the sector, that is ACB, is 11 millimeters. So this is our answer. Find the area of each sector of the brooch. So we have a formula for area of a sector, which is theta over 360 degrees times pi r square where theta represents the central angle of the sector and r is the radius. Now we had the value of theta as 36 degrees 
and r as half of the diameter that is 35 over 2 so in the next step we have substituted the respective values giving us 36 over 360 times pi is 22 over 7 times radius square becomes 35 over 2 times 35 over 2. Now in the next step we have simplified the fractions. So 36 divides 360 that is 36 1 times is 36 and 36 10 times is 360. Now 2 divides 22 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 11 times is 22. Now 7 divides 35 that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 5 times is 35. So in the next step we have written the simplified fractions. That is 1 over 10 times 11 times 5 times 35 over 2. Now we can further simplify this because 5 divides 10. That is 5 1 times is 5 and 5 2 times is 10. So this gives us 1 over 2 times 11 times 35 over 2. So now we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator giving us area of one of the sector of this brooch as 385 over 4 millimeter square. Now if you want you can convert it to decimals as well. This gives you the value as 96.25 mm square. So this is the area of one of the sector of the brooch. Find the total length of the silver wire used. So the silver wire was used to make the circumference of the circle and the 5 diameters. So here we have total length of the silver wire used is equal to the circumference of the circle plus the 5 diameters. Now the formula for circumference of the circle is 2 pi r plus 5 diameters is written as 5 times d. Now here r represents the radius and d is the diameter and the diameter value was given as 35 and radius we had got it as 35 over 2 that is half of diameter. So here we have substituted the respective values giving us 2 times pi is 22 over 7 times the radius is 35 over 2 plus 5 times the diameter is 35. Now let us simplify these fractions. So 2 divides itself that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 1 times is 2 and 7 divides 35 that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 5 times is 35. So here we get 22 times 5 plus 5 times 35 gives us 175. So 22 times 5 gives us 110 plus 175. Adding these two together, we get 285 millimeters. So this is the total length of the silver wire used to make this brooch. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.